Hi, Bobby Sanabria here again for Jazz at Lincoln Center. Guess what this rhythm is. Uh, 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 uh. If you said merengue, you were right. Merengue from the Dominican Republic. The Dominican community here since the 1960s has been migrating in mass to New York City, invigorating New York City with its own culture, music, dance, and style of drumming. And the national rhythm of the Dominican Republic is merengue, merengue. Now what I just did for you is an adaptation of what normally would be played by a small drum that sits across your lap, okay? It's two-headed, called the tambora, tambora. And the tambora would be played barehanded with the left hand, my left hand, and with the right hand with a stick, okay? And you would do, play like this. One, two, two, two. Inside that rhythmic pattern, obviously, is something we call the cinquillo. One, two, one. Again, slow. Two, one. Two, one. Okay? That defines where the clave of the rhythm is. So, patatukatum, pakatukatum, 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 pakatukatum. Now that's the direction we would call in uh, Afro-Caribbean music, three, two clave. One, two. There's three notes, two. Three notes, two. We live, we dance, everything we do in clave. It defines who we are as people from the African uh, diaspora. All of the music has clave, whether you believe it or not. Some merengues are in this typical fashion. Compadre Pedro Juan, baila el jaleo. Compadre Pedro Juan, que tan sabroso. Aquella niña de los ojos negros que nene, cuerpo flexible, bailalo, la paliza. Que chévere, que chévere, que chévere. And some merengues are on the other side of the clave. They would come in like this. Instead of three, Two, they come in like this in two, three. One, two, two, one, two, three, four, one. Paka tu kutum. Paka tu kutum. The cinquillo, those five notes, that grouping of five notes we call the cinquillo, define where the downbeat of the three side of the clave is. Paka tu kutum. So you always know where the clave is. The other instrument that I'm imitating besides the tambora, this, this uh, small drum uh, that is very typical to uh, merengue in the Dominican Republic, it's called the tambora, T-A-M-B-O-R-A. The other instrument I'm imitating is the guira, a metal gourd made out of a tin. Uh, it's just a sheet. Um, People used to take a soda cracker, a tin uh, box after the empty out the, bo the box, spread the uh, sheet flat and with a nail and a hammer makes little dimples, rows of dimples. You weld it together and okay, you have a cylinder, close off the ends, looks like a torpedo. A lot of uh, guiras today are made with those, those two tops cut off and it's hollow inside, and you have this incredible instrument. It's 
it sounds like a hi-hat. So we're going to imitate that, give the aura of that with my left foot. And my right foot is going to reinforce what the bass player plays. One, two, two, two. Now we add the essential tambora part which, with the cinquillo and all of the other notes that are in there. I'm going to do it really slow and I'm going to do it between all these three drums. The, snares, the snare with the snare off, the mounted tom, and the floor tom to give it a nice full sound. So we're starting on the three side of the clave. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Drum in the hi hat. some more forward motion, and I'm just gonna double up my left foot. Slow again so you can cop the rhythm. Now I'm gonna change the bass drum. again, just like a bass player would do on a gig, to give some more forward motion. Now, if you want to dance merengue, very simple. The step is left, right, left, right, left, Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Your partner will do the same thing, and you're in the groove. For Jazz at Lincoln Center, Bobby Sanabria. See you on the dance floor, dancing some merengue.